Sound designers, okay. It's time for a new custom module. We're going to be building a lo-fi filtering vinyl plant within Max MSP. This is going to be a custom made module within the Max MSP uh, programming environment where we are going to build a sample player that has noise filtering processing and also a record function as well, okay. We need four modules for this lo-fi processing unit. We need a sample or tape player, a recording window, a noise filtering object, and also a mixing object as well, so we can set the balance between the noise and our source audio. Okay, let's start off with our sample player. For this, we're going to be using the SF play object. We need to make sure that we set the input channels to two and the output channels to two, of course, and also to set the attribute to facilitate the time stretch uh, attribute which we need to set to integer one to switch the unit on. And this will allow us to add a coefficient integer, which will set the warp speed of our vinyl or tape player within our module, okay? In order to get that to tick over, we need our metronome object, which is going to be like a clocking source, ticking over at one microsecond at this time. That's what our native value is going to be. We also need a num randomized number sequencer, which is going to be our drunk object, okay, which we will set to a value of 120, which will be its maximum value. Uh, we need to add another attribute window through a message, which is going to be set to our pitch shift coefficient. Okay, we need to set an integer input for that as well, which is going to be connected to our drunk object as that ticks over. Okay, let's set a couple of visualizers for these objects as well. I'd like to be able to see each of our ticks through the button object, which is a highlighted LED, which will tick over during the metronome's clock. Okay, I'd also like to see our numbers coming out of our drunk object as well to make sure that those are outputting for our pitch efficient. Okay. Let's build this over into our SF play signal chain. Let's plug that into the SF play as well, of course. And let's set another series of number boxes, which we can use to set our parameters. Okay, so we can set parameters over here. Parameters for the speed of our metronome, for the number range, and for the step value. Okay, we need to have a multiplier object as well, so we can set the output of our source audio, which we would like to 70% of the mix. Okay, there it is. What else do we need? We need a toggle object, so we can switch our unit on, which is going to be very, very important. Okay, we can switch our module on. We also need a open object through a message which will open the source file when we are ready and we are ready for our next module within the patch we need our noise filtering object now okay to do that we need two noise based oscillators. We need a noise object and a pink noise object. The difference between noise and pink noise is that in pink noise you have filtering at the octave, so everything set to the same amplitude at the octave. Okay, so we've got those two. We need to multiply them and combine them in our signal chain and then combine it with our source audio eventually down that signal chain. Okay, let's combine those two and let's filter and combine again. All right, adding that pink noise in each segment. Okay, now we need a signal chain that clips the output gain of our waveform so it does not distort. And then once we've reduced that amplitude, we need to normalize to unity. Okay, now I would also like to be able to control the output volume in the mix. So let's include a multiply object there as well, set to 20%. Okay, add that in, plug it in, let's copy this part over because we need this in part B of this module, and then we need a new object, the sample and hold object, okay, let's tune that to half its value, 
So we're going to be taking another combination of pink noise here and white noise. Excuse me, let's reverse that. Pink noise in the second outlet, just so we get more of the crackle as opposed to the unfiltered noise. Okay, and we would like to then also control that output with a float number object. Decimal point integers, sorry, decimal point numbers. And that'll control the output for our mix. Okay, moving swiftly along, we need two more things. We need our mix of both noise and source audio, and then we need our record objects. Okay, so let's mix these things up. We need another multiplier. And we're setting this to less than unity, so we don't have too much, too much input. Okay, there's left and right. There's also meter left and right as well, just to make sure that we know what we're getting. Connect that up to our outputs. Here we go. That's left. That's right. Now we should already have... Oh, there we go. Oh, we have crackle and we have hiss. Let's tune that down. There we go. We have crackle. Now, let's see what happens when we open our sample player and open up it. Let's get a synth track in there. Excellent. And if I hit this button here... Are we... Oh, no, we're not connected. Excuse me. Okay, let's just see what happens when we hit our sample player. There we go. Okay, quickly, before we test that out, let's build our recorder. Okay, let's set that to an output name of lo-fi. Okay, oh, and we also need to make sure that we have two outputs for that. Okay, drag it over here. Let's duplicate that because we also need a buffer of the same name. Okay, but not two. We need to set the time of it to 10 minutes, just in case. We need one more message that writes to the buffer so we can write our output audio once it's all done. Okay, we're all connected. We're good to go. Let's set our metronome to 120. We'll set our step range to 120. Step our uh, step value to four. Hit that button. There we go. Crackle and warp. If we increase this, there you go. And there you have a vinyl processing plant. Warped audio, noise filtering, record function, and write. Once you've finished writing your audio, press stop, write to your buffer, save to your favorite file, and that is how you make a vinyl processing plant in Max MSP. Thank you very much.